So much of the holiday season is about paying it forward, about how we can appreciate everything we have by giving to others and passing it on. Hi, I'm Dr. Donna Rockwell. I'm the founder and CEO of Already Famous with Dr. Donna. It's a community, a mission, a movement really for women and girls to reclaim our self-confidence, understand that our self-worth is innate, and to understand that it's important to create meaning and purpose in our lives in order to be happy. Today, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about the importance of self-love, about paying oneself in real time. We have to understand that, perhaps you've heard this, we need to apply our own oxygen masks before we assist others, before we help others, if we just keep giving and giving and giving, we will be spent and there'll be nothing really left to give to others or ourselves. So at this holiday season, I hope that you can really put it into your mind and live this way for the rest of the year, that you have to recharge your battery, as my mother used to always tell me. You have to take time to recharge, renew and refresh yourself. That's why we go to sleep every night and wake up in every new day with all there is to accomplish with a fresh set of neurons. So I wanna talk about the brain just for a couple of seconds so you can understand that this is something we can do for ourselves as the greatest self-care gift there is. And that is to let whatever thought we're thinking go and come back to our breath as a grounding force. That is the mindfulness meditation, the stress reduction technique that really helps our bodies stay, stay strong and young and healthy. So we can face whatever we have to do in this moment, whatever task, whatever obstacle, whatever challenge. So I want to do a meditation today where you can incorporate this into your life. As far as the brain goes, we need to understand that we are primed for a fight or flight response. Our neurons guided by the amygdala, the fight, flight, freeze, or fawn mechanism in our brain that prepares us for threat and comes online. We need to understand how to hold that part of ourselves like a tender little baby. So in order to calm our amygdala, we need to understand that when it is activated, we are dripping cortisol into our body as we prepare for flight, prepare to fight. We can calm that down ourselves simply by saying, ah, that's just a thought, thinking with a smile on our face and return our awareness to the out breath going out and dissolving into space. There's a gap, our in-breath occurs, a tiny gap, and then that long, slow, dissolving out-breath. Just those four parts of the breath, repeated a couple of times, starts to slow down our central nervous system. Once we do that, we have so much more of our facilities and our faculties available to us. So when you find yourself getting upset or anxious during this holiday rush, take a few minutes, close your eyes, follow your breath as it goes out and dissolves, tiny gap, feel your in-breath coming in, a tiny gap, and then connect to that long, slow dissolving out breath. That will help calm your amygdala and bring back online your prefrontal cortex, which is where calm mind is, executive functioning, reasoning, and steadiness. So before you assist others this holiday season, perhaps this practice can help you apply your own oxygen mask, your own returning to breath as a way to calm your central nervous system, release 
stress, and relieve all the pressures that come during this time of year. Maybe this year you can actually enjoy it fully. So follow me on YouTube, hit the subscribe button so we can keep in touch and you can know when I put new videos and post them there. I've learned so much over the years about how to actually stay grounded in the moment. And I'd love to share all of that with you. So remember, you are enough and you're already famous in all the ways that really matter.